Hello, lords and ladies. My name is Archaic King. Welcome back to my return to Public Hearts, the story of Seasons Fairy Tale Let's Play. In the last video, we managed to recruit White Knight and Lord Gami Gami Devil to our party, since the other two, uh, Nino and Rue, are completely out cold. White Knight was a statue. Lord Gami Gami was, of course, Pumpkin Man, which was probably the most. Ah, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's the most transparent plot ever. <laughs> like, I knew it. I knew who it was. I was like, this is Gami Gami. It has to be. I told you. You go watch earlier videos. I said it. Anyway, today, uh, we are going to go and head back to Highland Farm where we are going to go kick that black beast, Tukus. Alright. Here it is. We didn't beat it last time, but this time... Pamela, the beast's curse burdened upon me by thy hand is no more. It is well and truly lifted. And, white knight though I be, I've no mind to show mercy upon villainous cretins. Prepare thyself! In my case, it was that damned kid who hoodwinked me. But at this point, I don't even care. I just really want to get some payback. And right now, you're a fine target. One shot is all I need! Ooh, how wonderful! I'll take all comers, big and small. Give me everything you've got! Oh, now we're gonna kick some butt. A battle right out the gate. Alright. We got White Knight, we got Flying Thrust, we got Focus, we got Blade Dance, and we have Valhalla. Alright, Flying Thrust leaps into the air, crashes down on a selected enemy, dealing high damage. Uh. Focus recalls the oath of knighthood, reinvigorating the spirit and temporarily boosting the strength. Blade Dance spins at high speed, damaging only amazing range. Valhalla emits purifying flames for both swords. Okay, let's do that. Let us commence. You bet. Oh, that looks so cool. And 300 damage, that's nice. Okay, now we're Gami Gami. Hyper Missile, which all the missile launcher fires a powerful warhead. Gummy Gummy Flash. Detonates a flash grenade in the air and flicks damage. To... Let's do that. Gummy Gummy Flash! I love how egotistical he is that he actually names it after himself. Well, that did not do a lot of damage as I had hoped it would. Ooh, and that's a lot of damage. If she gets hit again, I'm sure she'll probably die. Alright, let's increase everybody's defense. There we go. Uh, now we're at Pietro. We could do Valhalla again. Um, we could. But... Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let us commence. It's, it's going to be doing 300 damage each time we use it. Now that we're White Knight again, let's do... Uh, let's do this. That way he will rage his, uh, will raise his strength a little bit, so his next attack will be uh, quite fierce. Alright, now that we're Gami Gami, let's go ahead and actually heal Blue Wolf, because we don't want her dying in the next attack. She's right there, so it's most likely that she would be the one to hit. Oh, it doesn't look like she would actually die, so never mind. Alright, we don't have enough MP to do Valhalla. We could do Blade Dance. Um, we could do Flying Thrust. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see how cool that move looks. 193, that's not a bad amount of damage. Alright, now we're back at Scummy Gummy. Let's do a uh, Hyper Missile this time. Alright, that's not bad. That's a good amount of damage. Let's see, we're Blue Wolf again. Let's go ahead and use Charge. Alright, he's doing less damage because our defense is up, so that's good. Let's go ahead and use Fenrir. Let's go. All right, uh, we really should. We need to raise his MP back up again. All right, so. Many thanks. That's not enough to do Valhalla. That sucks. All right, we're back as you again. Sukami got me flash. Okay. His def either his strength is up or his defense is up, 
I'm not particularly sure which. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and... No, let's not use our MP to do that. We have items. Let's go ahead and use some... Um, uh, fully healed. Awesome. Okay, now we're, um, I don't think we can do Valhalla yet. Let's go ahead and do Blade Dance. We should kill this guy in no time. Let's move you to attack, too. Oh, he does 92 straight away. That's an, that's nice. Let's see how much... Oh, I can't even... Let's see how much you do. 60? Uh, that, that's not bad. Ah! Oh, God. Alright. Let's go ahead and do... Flying Thrust again? Let's heal you. Uh, didn't heal. I should definitely use the other uh, droplet. Uh, I could use Hal and heal him. There we go. I just really wish. Oh God. Oh wow. I'm so glad we healed him. I just wish we had an item that would restore a lot more at a time. Oh, we do. We do. oh well, no, 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 no. Let, let's use that on um, White Knight. Even though now we're gonna have to find another nut. Uh, as Gami Gami, let's go ahead and do. We don't need to do that. We just need him. So we'll do that for him. Who's next? Pietro, uh, you still got some MP, so we're going to again use Fenrir. Let's go. All right, Blue Wolf, let's go ahead and use Charge from you. White Knight, Valhalla. And we won. Awesome. Blue Wolf leveled up. Wow, White Knight and Gami Gami are like several levels above us. So I wonder if that means they're not going to stick with us this entire time. Yeah. How do you like them apples? <sighs> Gami Gami, such boastful behavior is quite unbecoming. <sighs> we did it. See, this fight wasn't about winning or losing, but we can eat resolve, dear prince, and exposing a hole in that substitution spell of yours. Unless I'm mistaken, you should no longer be able to resist my wiles at all. Oh, how I've longed for this moment. Come, my beloved black beasts. Come and draw the final curtain upon this unfortunate brat's extended struggle. I can't move. Buster Pietro, no! No, Blue Wolf! No, 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 Wait, what? So it was you. You're the one who was transformed in his place. Marcia? Ooh, I kind of suspected. I kind of suspected. Pietro. Foul miscreant. We strike together, Gami Gami. Art thou prepared? Always. What have you done? How could you? Those were my last ones. Let's take her down now. You won't get away with this. Mark my words, you will be turned into Black Beast. You all will. I'll make sure you suffer for what you've done. Ah, oh, we are. I guess we're down. Like two people. Slipped from our grasps. Narsha. Narsha. Narsha, wake up, Narsha. Come on. Please, Narsha, wake up. 
wake up. Narsha! 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 Hey, Pietro. Narsha. Prince. <gasps> Come to me, O oh Prince of Light. From world beyond the darkened sight. With love encumbering thy heart. The fairy voices speak to thee. Now follow them across to me. On the path of Alpha, thou and I. When ends the road, there leave thy woes. For by this spring that ebbs and flows, the maiden from her curse shall part. Alba. <laughs> Mr. Hero, Lady Galerio has heard your pleas, and she's answered them. I heard her, Connie. She said to embark on the path of Alba. Does that mean there's a way to save Narsha? I couldn't say. But if anyone could, it would be Lady Galerio. You have to believe in her. Thank you, Connie, for not... For Narsha's sake, I'll go wherever I have to, no matter the danger. But what is this path of Alba? And how do I get to it? I'm sure Lady Fatrier will know. Let's go see if we can find her. Ah, just as I thought, the prairie from Bo is lit up really brightly now. Must be because the dark energy Parmela was feeding into the earth has all died off. Come on, we need to break the seal on Lady Fautrier! Huh. We actually didn't have to go into some ruin? Thanks be to you, friends. I've long suffered in that state, and it's good to finally be back. Now, my highland farm, it's time to flourish once more! Lady Fautrier, I know you've only just awoken, but we have some questions we really need to ask you right away. Hmm, I see. I understand the need for swift action. The path of Alba is an ancient road that runs deep beneath this very farm. It is the one and only road available to humans who wish for passage to Lady Galerial Spring, hidden as it is from the world above. And only those summoned by Lady Galerio herself are permitted to walk upon it. In this case, that would be the young boy there and the blue wolf. But take heed. The path of Alba is not a simple road to follow. Are you prepared for what awaits you thereupon? I am. All right. That was interesting for the third region. I I'm assuming the path of um, Alba is probably going to be akin to the ruins. I like, 50% sure. <laughs> Because I was about to say, I, I enjoyed the fact that the third region, I think this is our third region so far, I have horrible counter. Um, and I was getting, I was already going to say it was getting monotonous, but this was actually a nice change up, so we didn't actually have to go around purifying land. Master Pietro, please tend to Lady Narsha. Yo, Prince of Claus, you're the only one who can save Narsha, so get to it. Well, I can talk to him. Berg. Are you... okay now? <laughs> You're still worried about me, even after learning what I did. Are you some kind of saint? There's no going back for me. No one will ever be able to look past this. Daddy! The truth is, I saw her. The very first time you came to this farm, 
I saw that fairy you had with you. But I wanted the harvest to go through without any reliance on fairies or Galerial or anything but our own efforts, no matter what. It wasn't just you I was deceiving, but myself as well. I didn't fall into that woman's trap so much as leapt in. Full force. No, don't say that. I had a good friend a long time ago, you know. A good friend who made a very, very great mistake. What he did is inexcusable, but I understand why he did it, and they wanted the same thing he did. His motives were sound. Self-sustaining land of plenty, even in a world without Galerio. We both yearned for that. Berg. Daddy. DJ, I want you to look after Mire. Let her stay at your house. I hope you understand, Mire. The townsfolk surely must hate me now. And I can't just leave you in an environment like that. I can't. Daddy! Daddy, where are you going? Daddy! Dude's probably hightailing it out of here. Hey! Those two, Nino and Rue, they're doing fine. Better than me, anyway. <laughs> I'm the worst kind of person. I had no idea little kids were fighting and getting hurt. And I had no idea an old friend was in so much danger. I did nothing to help anybody. I deeply regret what I've become. I knew something was up. I was too busy drowning in spirits to care about it. KJ. I'll tell you. I'm really feeling all those empty years I spent up here since the Galaris incident and the hurt. Time wasted never comes back. That's why I want to sit down and have a long talk with you kids. To sort out what I can do to help in all this. And until you're all conscious enough to hear me out, I can put up Nino and Rue here and watch over them till they recover. If you'll let me, anyway. That sounds great. I'm sure you'll take good care of them. You got something important you need to take care of now yourself, don't you? Once you're done, I'd appreciate it if you'd come right back here so I can get the ball rolling. I really do think we have a lot to discuss. Alright, so... That's, we have to come back here when we're done. Uh, is she saying... Oh, uh, for some reason I thought Nino and Rue were in here, but no, that that wouldn't make sense. They're not at the Highland Farm. Um, I could probably could talk to these two. Oh, not yet. Okay, so at least I can uh, I just come back here and talk to these two. Alright, I don't think there's anything else. Well, there's some bugs here I can catch right here. Grass survival obtained. Also, my 3DS is almost about to die. I'm not sure if I have enough battery left in it to just keep going. But I don't want to end the video here. So, we're going to quick save real quick. As the name implies. And then I guess we should probably... Uh, Oh, no, come on. I guess we should go, um... I wonder if I need anything. Any supplies? Hmm. I should probably buy some. I have enough money. 40,000 gold? Yeah. Alright, so we're probably going to head back to town, buy some supplies. I'm not going to show that any of that off. Oh, I actually can't fast travel. Never mind. I actually have to go. I have to go down here. Yes, I'm ready to walk the path of Alba. I can't fairy dust my way out of here. I shall now open the gate for you, and set you on your way. Thank you. I appreciate it. White Knight, will you help lift Narshan to my shoulders? Of course, Master Pietro. Bearer of a wish most pure, I send thee off upon the darkened road. May the light of thy heart guide thy path, straight and true. This is the path of Alba? I have to keep moving. Just try to stay with me just a little longer, Narsha. No, I guess I don't have to do it. 
Looks like it's just a cutscene path. child of man I see thy soul and guide thy hand uh, Lady Galeria is it really you? Yea I am Galeria though here stand through darkened spell awake and yet in half repose with all Galeriel I be your heart's desires clear to me my spirit water I bestow but prince I beg thee listen well, for thou canst but alone soul quell, herein with but a single dose. Spirit water? I have no idea what she even said. I hate, I hate the singing parts, but... That's correct. It flows only here to this underground spring. It's a treasure of untold significance. Those who share the spirit water are deeply connected from the very pits of their souls. So deeply as to touch one another's memories. Uh, um... So I see what she's thinking about? You would. And the way to break the curse upon this girl should lie somewhere within her. You don't mean... But I, I wouldn't feel right peering in Anarsha's heart like that. What will you do then? Will you turn back? No. If that's what has to be done, then that's what I'll do. Very well. The door lies before you. You need only step within. Now, lay her down beside the spring. You must drink of the water yourself, then put some in Narsha's mouth as well. Okay. Narsha, you will now be entering Narsha's memories. Pietro picked for me smelled so wonderful. Well, well, you certainly seem to have taken a liking to them. So what will you give? You do want to give him a present, don't you? Of course I do. Which is why... Well, I have a favor to ask. What? Are you sure? That smells a bit... Uh, never mind. If that's what you want, I know better than to argue. You never listen anyway. Thank you so much.
Pietro. Hush now, Chancellor. There's no need for such concern anymore. Behold, the darkness has come in all its glory. <laughs> Oh, it might not be too late. No, just stop! You mustn't! <laughs> How foolish. By now, that circle only leads to an infinite dark expanse. She has no hope of finding her prince. She'll be lost, aimlessly wandering an endless black void for the rest of her life. Farewell, little witch. It's so dark. I can't see a thing. Which way do I go? Wait, I smell flowers. They're the flowers Pietro gave me. Oh, it's Gilda's magic. Which means if I follow this smell, I'm sure to find him. Where am I now? Smell is coming from in there. Prince Pietro, I finally found you. Um, uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's just a charm, remember? A magic charm. Actually, I have a present for you, too. Huh? Will you close your eyes for me? <laughs> now it's my turn to protect you. Spirit true, your loving oath has seen you through. A flower maiden cursed no more. The cries and tears of Azure Beast, I take within me, sorrow ceased through slumber long and power pure. Does that mean Narsha is... Lady Galeria has used some of her own power to subdue the curse's effects, but she'll be asleep for some time as a result. I believe your attention is needed elsewhere, however, as your beloved now lies awake before you. Pietro! No, this is disgustingly sweet. Yes, I would like to save my progress, so I don't have to do that all over again. <laughs> Chapter 5, Coming to Terms with the Past.
<laughs> Connie. Connie, thank you for everything you've done on our behalf. My name is Narsha. It's nice to meet you again. Lady Narsha, then. Nice to meet you. You know, I knew that wolf was a human girl from the first moment I saw her. What? You did? Why didn't you say anything? Well, because the two of you just look so happy and content when you're sleeping all curled up together. Oh. Sight for sore eyes, and with thy presence, I feel we have the force needed to defy Griffith forthwith. Masters Nino and Rue are in the care of Master Keychain, and indeed, in the time that's passed, they should be well on the men. That's great. What I want to know though is who had the gall to transform you into a wolf in the first place. I'll beat him into orbit. Ah, tis true that many questions are as yet unanswered, such as how each of us came to this land. Wouldst thou care to explicate? So the substitution spell was the culprit. It was surely a harrowing ordeal for thee, Lady Narsha. Thou hast my sympathies. How about you, White Knight? How did you wind up in Galilee Land? I'm afraid tis a far simpler tale for me. Whilst adventuring forth, I didst unknowingly wander into a transport circle. Perhaps twas their plan from the onset to place it in my path, in which case I most easily succumbed to their trickery. A moment hence, I was at the mercy of Parmela's experiments. Oh, the pain I endured! Such shocks! Such slicing! Well, unlike Sir Dunderhead here, I came to Galilee Land of my own free will. In order to take it over, of course. And I, the Black Baron, for those who've yet to make my acquaintance, came with His Excellency to aid in the conquest. The one who gave me the idea was named Marmella. Looking back, her story really was too good to be true. So I guess I got suckered. Still, I managed to make some structural modifications in Galaris to bring it more in line with what a capital city should be. The boy named Du didn't much care for these changes, however, so he forced His Excellency into that pumpkin mask. Ooh, and that good-for-nothing brat! He's gonna get what's coming to him! Mark my words! Pietro, until we find him, I'm with you. And of course, I too shall journey alongside thee, Master Pietro. White Knight, Gami Gami, thank you. All right, Black Baron, Trixie, you two go on ahead to Galaris and sneak in. We need info. Yes, Your Excellency. No problem. Oh, Prince Pietro, what about Nino and Rue? We should go check in on them and see if they're doing any better. Yeah, that's a good idea. Come on, Narsha. Let's go. Ooh, it's so nice to have uh, Narsha back in human form. I wonder what ability she has now. I could probably check. Like, I, uh, let's see. Uh, she has Holy Ark, Heal Shower, Holy Droplet, and Blessed Rain. Nice. I kind of suspected that was Narsha. I'm not sure why or when, but yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, we've actually ran over long thanks to all those cutscenes. So uh, this is where we're going to end things off tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure when the next video will get up. But whenever that is, we will actually be focusing on uh, the next thing, which is, uh, I guess, checking in on Nido with Rue. Anyways, yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.